Joe Campbell here, uh, just showing some people uh, what it takes to clean the heat exchangers on a central boiler edge. It's a classic edge, titanium, 560. Um, and then over here, just kind of show you the differences. We have a Polar, it's a G2 Plus. Kind of show you what the heat exchanger looks like on that. What it takes to maintain that one to keep your stack temps in check versus what it takes for this central boiler to keep your stack temps in check and what it takes to clean it. Um, so first of all, the central boiler, it's got this big back panel on it here. It says easy view heat exchanger titanium. So this panel has to come off first. So we'll get that off quick. It's fairly straightforward to get that off. It's just kind of a lift up, I guess. It doesn't stand there real well, but you just kind of lift her up and get her off. And then uh, we have the back door here two handles and then we'll be able to see the heat exchanger of this unit one thing to note too right away when you get this thing open is all this on this center boiler this is just fiberglass fiberglass insulation it's not I don't know it just seems kind of chintzy to me for what it is not much hole out there so this is a heat exchanger on it right here back up so you guys can get a better view um, so to clean this you gotta get the back open. And then you gotta pull out each individual grate here. So these grates right here, kind of pull down. And then they, if you can get them out, kind of real bare, you pull them out. Everyone is. So that's your, uh, kind of your air turbulators, I guess. There's a bunch of them in here. Once uh, you get those out, you gotta scrape this thing between there so center boiler gives you a fancy dancy tool thought I had it around here somewhere right here um, to get in there and scrape this thing so you take each of those things out individually and you get in here at this tool and you just go up and down these heat exchangers you literally scrape the whole thing up and down by hand to keep these clean so I've been running this boiler for a couple months now and I've noticed that if you don't clean these about once a week, what will happen is your stack temp will come up significantly, 30, 40, 50 degrees, because they get so much buildup on them. And this is all nice dry ash, no creosol, which is good, because I've seen this boiler here full of creosol front to back. It's not doing it for me, it's working like it should, so that's good. but. You know, again, to maintain it, you do have to clean these out almost once a week, and this is what it takes to do it. Kind of a bear, not ideal. So, next door, we've got the Polar. The polar has the easy sweep system. So what's that mean? If we look at the top of the Polar, Right here, this has circular heat exchangers, they're round. And in each one of those is a turbulator. You move this handle on the side of the boiler, slides those air turbulators up and down. I have most pulled out right now because I'm cleaning them. And that cleans out your heat exchanger on this unit, on the polar. And that's all it takes. You can do that every day, you can do it twice a day, you can do it as many times as you want. So now those air turbulators are in there, this handle's balanced too. It's real easy to move back and forth. Do that a half dozen times. Guess what? Your heat exchanger's clean. Once a year, I'll pull these out of here, vacuum out the top, and I'm doing this for spring cleaning, pull it apart, vacuum out the top, and then um, take a bore brush, which is included with your boiler, right here, and clean them all out real good. So this is ideal. There's the rest of the turbulators, and these turbulators are different than a lot of manufacturers. They cost a lot more to produce this way. They use a lot more metal, but they create a lot more turbulent air and keep that stack temp really low, creating really good efficiency. One thing they do too is those tight curls, they actually clean those heat exchangers. You see the flat plates that are just twisted? Those aren't gonna clean those heat exchangers. Good. When that boiler is new, it is gonna be really efficient. Over time, you are going to get buildup in those round heat exchangers, even though you're twisting that handle back and forth, back and forth, because you're going to get buildup in there because it's not cleaning as well. And the reason that Polar gives you access on the top is if you look down in here, 
these I haven't more brushed them out yet. But you got some buildup in there. So they do need to clean, be cleaned out better than you can do just these turbulators turning them up and down with the handle. Take the bar brush, clean them out. If your boiler does not have access to the top of your heat exchanger tubes, like that, and it does not come with a bore brush, you will lose efficiency over time. You will get build up in there that you cannot get out with your turbulators. Something to note with polar versus center boiler here. Ease of use, ease of maintenance, very, very different. 